What is web? Web is the larger collection of interconnected documents or content. The web is contains of hyperlink and highlighted keywords related to information. Information stored in website is in web languages such as HTML and JavaScript. When we find the website we're looking for, our web browser is able to take all the code on the site and turn into words, graphics, and videos. We don't need to know any special computer languages because the web browser creates a graphic interface for us. The World Wide Web is a big virtual city where we communicate with each other. And just no one owns the city, no one owns the web. It belongs to us. Sir Timothy John Berners-Lee, also known as Tim BL, is an English engineer and computer scientist best known as the inventor of World Wide Web. Example of Web 2.0 are the following. First, social networking is the use of internet-based social media sites to stay connected with friends, family, colleagues, customers, or clients. Um, when we say social networking is what we use every day or to communicate or interact with other people. Examples of social networking. First, Facebook. Second, Google+. Third, Instagram. Here are the example picture of Facebook. Facebook is a social network that allows users to connect with people, businesses, and organizations. They can post updates and respond to the posts of others. They can share photographs and link to online content. Users can chat live and upload and share videos. The second peak is Google+. Plus. Google+, Plus is provide the services and capabilities of a typical social network along with some unique features related to Google search. The third peak is Instagram. It focuses on sharing visual media like photos and videos. User can create a profile and have a news feed. Second, blogs is a discussion or informational website published on the World Wide Web consisting of this tweet. Often, informal diary-style text entries posts are typically displayed in reverse chronological order so that most recent posts appear first at the top of the web page. When we say blog, it's a shortened version of blog, an journal, online journal or informational website, um, or share their thoughts, opinion, or expertise. Um, the goal of a blog is to publish information on your website. Example of blog. First, blogger. Second, Tumblr. First peak is blogger. Blogger is someone who regularly writes and publishes content on a blog. Can create and maintain these blogs, posting articles, photos, videos, or other content to engage with. Second peak is Tumblr. It's a social media platform and microblogging website that allows users to create and share multimedia content such as text, post, photos, videos, and more. Third, Wikis is a hypertext publication collaboratively edited and managed by its own audience. Directly using a web browser, a typical wiki contains multiple pages for the subject or scope of the project and may be either open to the public or limited to use within an organization for maintaining its internal knowledge base. Um, when we say wikis, it refers to collaboratively website or online platforms that allow users to create, edit, and hyperlink web pages easily. Example of wikis. First, Wikipedia. Second, Wikinews. First peak is Wikipedia. It's an online encyclopedia where anyone can edit and contribute articles on a wide range of topics. 
Wikinews is an open source new website that operates as a wiki, allowing users from around the world to collaborate in the creation. Fourth, video sharing sites, a website that lets people upload and share their video clips with the public at large or to invited guests. When we say video sharing sites, an online platform where user can upload, view, and share views. Examples of video sharing sites, first, YouTube, second, Facebook. YouTube is one of the most well-known video sharing platforms where users can upload a wide range of videos from blogs to music videos. Facebook platform where users can discover, watch, and share videos from friends, pages, and creators. Web 3.0 is suggested name by John Markov of the New York Times for the third generation of the web. In this generation, all the application on web or mobile will be upgraded with more features. It applies same principle as Web 2.0, two-way interaction. Web 3.0 will be more connected, open, and intelligent with semantic web technologies, distributed databases, natural language processing, machine learning, machine reasoning, and autonomous agents. Semantic web provides a framework that allows data to be shared and reused to deliver web content, specifically targeting the user. It is a web of data, changing the web into a language that can be read and categorized by the system rather than humans. Um, this web is suggested name by Jan Markov of the New York Times for the third generation of the web. It also known as Web3. Um, it provides a data-driven semantic web employing a machine-based understanding of data with the developing a more intelligent and connected web experience for users. And I'm going to discuss about the type of website. First, e-commerce website. This website is the storefront on the internet. It is the virtual space where you showcase products and online customers make selections. Second, business website. This website can be simple as a page with your businesses, brand, and contact details to a complete online store. Third, entertainment website. This website are focuses on creating high quality content that is entertaining for the target audience. Fourth, portfolio website. This website is the one of the most practical and memorable ways to share your work with press, potential collaborators, or employers. Fifth, media website. This website describes a channel you control. It is the content you create for your website and blog as well. Six, brochure website. This website's the purpose of the brochure website is to ensure uninterrupted access to information about you and provide communication with your customers. Seven and the last is non-profit website. This website don't aim to sell products or services to their visitors, but they still need to convince people to support their cause. Educational website. What is educational website? It is a website of educational institutions and those offering online courses fall into the category of educational websites. These websites have a primary goal of either providing educational materials or providing information on an educational institution for them. Next is Infopreneur website. It is a website that overlap a bit with business and e-commerce websites. But they represent a unique type of online business. Infopreneurs create and sell information products that could be in the form of courses, tutorials, videos, or ebooks. Next is personal websites. This is different from most websites. Not all websites exist to make money in some way or another. Many people find value in creating personal websites to put their own thoughts out into the world. This category includes personal blogs, vlogs, and photo diaries people share with the world. Next is web portal. There are often websites designed 
for internal purposes at a business, organization, or institution. They collect information in different formats from different sources into one place to make all relevant information accessible to the people who need to see it. They often involve a login and personal views for different users that ensures the information that accessible is most useful to their particular needs. The lesson that I'm going to discuss is all about the lesson 2, two the internet. The internet or net, network of network, is the largest computer network in the world that connects billions of computer users. The word internet comes from combination between interconnection and network. Network is a collection of computers and devices connected via communication channels and transmission media allowed to share resources. Hardware, software, data, information. Generally, nobody owns the internet. ARPA Advanced Research Project Agency, January 2, 1969, started an experimental computer network. Concept, no server, but equal importance, participation to every computer in the network. Even if one or two nodes destroyed, that will now affect the network. In 1982, the word internet started. 1986, first Freenet, created in Case Western Reserve University, 1991. U.S. government allowed business agencies to connect to internet. Now, all people can connect to the internet and improve their life and work quality. The internet supports various aspects in our life. Vinton Grace Surf, former, is an American internet pioneer and is recognized as one of the fathers of the internet. Sharing this title with TCP or IP co-developer Bob Kahn. Servers is a computer program that provides service to another computer program and its user. Application Server A programming computer that provides the business logic for an application program. Web Server A computer program that serves requested HTML pages or files. Proxy Server is a software that acts as an intermediary between an endpoint device such as computer and another server from which a user is requested. Mail Server is an application that receives incoming email from local users and remote senders and forward outgoing email for delivery. File Server is a computer responsible for central storage and management of data files so that other computers on the same network can access them. Policy Server is a security component of a policy-based network that provides authorization services and facilities tracking and control of files. IP Address Internet Protocol is a numerical label assigned to each device. This provides identities to a network device. Browser is an application program that provides a way to look information on the web. Example of browsers Google Chrome, Safari, Internet Explorer, Opera, Mozilla. Domain Name System DNS, is the phone book of Internet. We access information online through domain names. Internet Service Provide ISP is an organization that provides services for accessing, using, or participating in the internet. Good day everyone! Now I'm going to tackle two types of ISF, uses of internet, and internet terms and definition. Two types of ISF. National ISF provided internet access to a specific geographic area. Regional ISF is 
business that provides internet access in cities and towns nationwide. Example of ISF is Sky Broadband, PLDT, and Converge. Let's proceed to uses of internet. First one is look for information, school works, jobs, and home purposes. Send and receive electronic mail, video teleconferencing such as video call and video chat, buy and sell product, social networking, watch and post video games, take college courses, monitor home while away, and lastly, download music and movies. So now let's proceed to internet terms and definition. Let's have internet. Internet is a global net network of thousands of computer networks linked by data lines and wireless systems. Web Web is a collection of billions of web pages that you can view with a web browser. Email Email is the most common method of sending and receiving messages, online social media websites, and apps that allow people to share comments, photos, and videos. Next is Online Gaming. Games that allow people to play with and against each other over the internet can. Lastly, software updates. Operating system and application updates typically downloaded from the internet.